So this up here, this is the Samauma tree. And it's one of the biggest trees in the Amazon. So right now we're in the section where they make potions. <laughs> today so I'm gonna try to eat something light. Ooh, looks like they have a bunch of fruit but I'm gonna go for the mango. What do we have here? Yep, eggs and these sausages as almost always. Bread, bread, but the queijo. Some sort of coconut thing, I'll try it. Brazil always has a bunch of cakes and pastry kinds of things for breakfast. The assortment of fruit is awesome, better than any other place we've been yet with free breakfast. Mango, pineapple, is this kaja? They call it something different here. Watermelon, Ooh, papaya, nice. fruit salad. Morning. So we're probably going to be eating a lot today, that's what we were told. So we're having barely any breakfast, but as you can see, Woodsy is really taking that to heart. <laughs> she had one little cake here and some juice. But I'm having some fruit, some eggs, papi queijo, some coffee. But still not a ton. Leaving room for later. Mm -hmm. We have an awesome day planned here in Belém. The first thing we're going to do is go to Utinga Park, which is the biggest park in Belém. We are going extremely early for us anyway. We're going to get there around 7.30 to try to beat the heat and the crowds. It sounds like a pretty incredible park. We'll find out more when we get there. All right, we are with our friend Vitor today and he's gonna be taking us around in this van. getting some bicycles. You can either rent them outside of the park from just the side of the road like this or you spend less to rent them out here but we're probably gonna rent them inside the park but it costs a little bit more. Okay we're at the entrance of Utinga Park. <laughs> So this up here, this is the Samauma tree, and it's one of the biggest trees in the Amazon. We're here very early, but that doesn't stop people. There are a ton of people here getting their bikes ready to go on the trails. There's also some walking trails. This park is huge. The main trail here is four kilometers long. There are about 150 different species of plants and 200 different species of animals. Obviously, we won't be seeing them all today, but we'll get to see a few. Well, this is exciting. We have the options. Didn't know we had an option. We thought we were going on a bike ride today, but we are either on a bike ride or a trike ride. <laughs> we can pick out a tricycle, which means both Lindsay and I will be on one of these. We've never really been on a tricycle like this, so we figured this one would be a good choice. One person has control of the steering, but we can both pedal. That way Lindsay won't be slow. I can keep going for us. How's it fit? <laughs> Alright, our first few seconds on this trike. 
I like it. Smooth red. Alex has all the control. He's steering, so hopefully he doesn't. Oh, hopefully he doesn't crash us. There's a nice place to put the backpack, roof cover. So he gave us a few instructions. The front brake is right here. The back brake is this thing right here. Pull it back. And then you have to drive on the right side. There's kind of like a bike lane to the right. So it's kind of like driving a car. Pretty cool. And to honk, you do this. I don't know if they can pass us. We're holding up traffic, I think. <laughs> Getting past. This does not go as fast as a regular bike, but we're okay with that. So our first stop here, this is Bologna Lake. And this lake supplies all the water to the city of Belém. Doesn't look like much, but it continues way out there. Now we're entering more of a rainforest type situation. The canopy is getting thicker, it's getting darker, and we're just amongst a ton of trees. You can barely see through them at the side. It's like we're in the middle of the jungle. I can hear some birds. <laughs> you can hear birds, frogs, insects. Woo! You hit some spots and you can just coast right along. No work involved. We like those parts. Just, just close my eyes and feel the wind. Don't close your eyes too long. I forgot I'm driving. <laughs> it looks like Lindsay's driving with me, but I'm actually controlling it. Yeah, please keep your eyes open at all times. We haven't seen so many in-shape people, <laughs> so many people working out as, as we are looking at right now. Nowhere else in Brazil has it looked like this. It's just everybody we're passing. They're riding bikes, they're going on runs, everybody has workout clothes on. They seem like they know what they're doing. We did not expect that in the, the gateway Amazon. to the Amazon. <laughs> So we're stopping now. This place is a little cafe. People, after they work out, after they get their bikes, they come here to picnic, to go to this cafe, to hang out for the rest of the day. And to get a view. walk along this wooden bridge. So quiet. All you can really hear is the sounds of the bugs and the animals in the rainforest. So we just parked our tricycle and we are crossing on this wood plank that goes into a hydration center. They have these along the way so people can stop and take breaks as they're running, exercising, going on their bikes. So these hydration stations, they usually have a cafe, someplace to eat, get water, get a drink, and then they also have some kind of view of lake or river here. Just wrapped up our bike ride. That was awesome. And now we're heading to Bella Market. This is the place.
place we were yesterday, if you saw that video. If not, it's a very cool market, the most famous in Belém. Get. This place is huge. We're just going by all of these fruit stands right now, but we're going to a different section. We are about to enter the Bella Prezo market. So right now we're in the section where they make potions and this lady right here she will take these herbs and plants and things like that and she'll take them and she'll make a potion specifically for you and what you need. So if you, if you have some kind of ailment, something is wrong, she can make it for you right then with these. You can mix it with your skincare, maybe. And what does it do? Oh, avoids you getting the the fruit, the fruit of the age, to avoid but acne and bumps and faces like this. This one is for money. That's crazy. The love potion. Did you get her? Okay, this is for a man to cry at your feet. For what? If you want a man or a woman to cry at your feet, be crazy in love for you, you use that one. Just translate to her the names of the herbs. Some of them are very funny, like, uh, even if you don't like me, you're gonna like me. Yeah. So she just fluffed up all these herbs and you can smell. It's a very strong aroma. It smells very good. All she did was pull them up for a second and now it's just filling the air. One, two, one. It's like a pink circle now, no? Yeah. Oh! Hi, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Okay. Over together. She wants more. Beth is taking pictures with us. <laughs> Lindsay wants to buy something, but I have no idea what she would buy it for. Maybe the Viagra? Ten eyes. To attract love? Yeah. Is this a perfume? Yes, perfume. you can test it on in your body. <laughs> can I smell it? Yeah. This will be good. This will be good? Love. She wants the love potion. I like love. Alright, Lindsay's gonna buy the love potion. It's a perfume? We'll see if it works. Let's go up the staircase. But this staircase, it looks like it leads to nowhere. But that's because a long time ago there was an extra part of this that went to this building behind me. Now it's just kind of a lookout point. So in Belém you'll see a lot of buildings that are made out of like steel, like this, and a lot of it comes from England, from Paris, uh, here it looks like it comes from Glasgow, so some of it comes from Russia. None of the steel that you'll see around this city is actually made in Brazil. They brought a lot of it from Europe. And that's why you see buildings and architecture influenced by other places. Had to get some coco gelatos, five real each, so about the same price as we've been paying. 
the city has a lot of history. It's beautiful. And we keep having to hide from the rain. It'll rain really hard for five minutes, stop, come out again. We came to this restaurant that's right on the river to escape the rain. It was coming down really hard. We ordered a beef croquette with fish mayonnaise. Never tried fish mayonnaise before. seen this yet with the eggs. <laughs> oh. So as you guys know, we put out videos on YouTube, we put out as much content as we can, but we can't put out everything on YouTube. We also have shorter video clips and photos that we can't put here. So if you want to see more, follow us on Instagram, Lindsay Travel Bum and Alexander Travel Bum. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more videos like this one, click one of these. And subscribe right here because we're traveling all around the world and we're sharing the whole thing with you.